Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to another week with me. Ding! Let's just talk about these things real quick. First of all, I just wanted to show you guys these because these are cool. I had this on all day yesterday. They're called Superstar Patches and they're just little stars hydrocolloid salicylic acid and tea tree and this is to help like you know zap pimples and i had this huge one over here you can't really see it as much now these are really cool you just put the little star over your pimple i usually do it at night so if i do my skincare my face is super clean i keep that area cr clean of any skincare then i put the pimple patch over it and sleep and then i'll wake up and take it off and it's usually pretty much like half the size so this is almost gone now because i put that on and i felt like it wasn't going away so it was nice that this instantly took care of it and it comes with a lot of patches so you've got so many in the moment you open this it smells like tea tree oil so yeah anyway i just thought i would mention that they're like six bucks seven bucks something like that and then this is so cool i'm so excited about this this is going in the makeup kit it's even got like a neat pack Ooh. Very cool. I've wanted to design something like this for myself, but it's a palette that you basically put your thumb through and it has the product here. So you can use your foundation or whatever you need. You can dip into it and sit there and like have your tray here. Cause I do put my thumb through my tray and I just kind of sit there and do this as I'm doing makeup. But I like the idea of this one because it has like the sh thing to shut it. It has a well to hold the product and it's a nice idea. And I can use the other side as well if I open it all the way. It has this pouch with the little product spatula too. In my makeup kit, I've always got trash bags and I'll usually just tape them to the table. But a lot of times it gets heavy and it'll just fall off. But it's just a simple little trash can, as you can see. I need this for my car. I'm ordering another one right now. And then it has this up top. So you can just... This is gonna be covered in foundation. But yeah, I just thought this would be really great to just kind of hang it on the other side of my makeup kit. So just hanging off of it. When I'm done with people, I can throw everything away in here. And then at the end of all of the makeup, I can throw this stuff away that's in here. Because I had walked back and forth to the kitchen so many times. And then the final thing is this. But yeah, look at this, so nice. So there's tons of lip brushes lip brushes, spoolies, those really skinny liners. That's really, really nice. This will be a game changer as opposed to my separate little Ziploc bags stuffed into a bigger bag, stuffed into my bag. <laughs> like it's just too much crap. So that's it. And I have some more stuff coming later, but I'm gonna go two minutes. I'm gonna go talk to my therapist. I'll be back later. Well, as you can see, all of the electricity is off. <laughs> Can't even turn my lights on up here. I have a half charged computer and I have three guys on a lift in our backyard, but this would be a good time for me to go downstairs and clean my kit. All right, so this is a major moment. We're getting our electricity back and everything is the new rewire. This is this is huge in this whole journey of re basically <laughs> gutting our house of electrical wiring and putting in new stuff. We still have quite a bit to fix, but that's all gonna get done at the end. So let's go see what the husband's doing. This is the moment. This is our old ass crap. Ugh, look at it. It's so bad. Wow, this is our old panel then, huh? Yeah, I just had this stuff tempted into our new stuff. Until Oops, now we got the tie over, so now these are the, this is what I had tempted in. Now I can permanently land everything. You know what I mean? Yep. Kind of like braiding hair. Kind of like braiding hair. <laughs> it looks like a rib cage. First thing to do with Bob is to triple check there's no power. Can I check? What do I touch? Mm -hmm. The metal? Yep. Low power. Oh, I gotta find our bathroom, babe. It's like me with my makeup kit, but it's tools instead. Pretty much. What's your least favorite part about this? Like, what do you like hate doing? Mm, not a whole lot. You kind of enjoy it. 
Do you listen to music at work when you're doing all this? No. You just have it, you're just thinking? About me. Much. And how much you love me. Really? Mostly the puppies. You know, when I'm talking about things at work and then I'm thinking about stuff, I'm thinking about the puppies. <laughs> I am, I'm thinking about the dogs and how much I love them. Yeah. How long is your electrical work that you need to do today going to take you, you think? A couple hours. A couple hours. Wow. Meanwhile, we have light <gasps> for the first time in months. Months. We have light. Now I got to come in here and organize because apparently my treadmill has become a wire holder. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually going to go to Chick-fil-A to get a big salad. I feel like Chick-fil-A salads are the best. Outfit check. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm literally just showing you what I'm wearing. Marvin's got anxiety because I have on shoes. I don't think that's focused, is it? Anyway, I'm off, I'm gonna go do makeup. I'll catch up with you guys later. It's hot up in here. I was not expecting it to be this hot for some reason. I have to blast the air. Anyway, uh, just did some bridal makeup. Beautiful. Oh, she's so stunning. I don't know how I keep getting these angel princesses in my chair. I uh, just finished the makeup. It was really soft and pink and peachy mixed kind of like a little gentle petal, rose petal. That's the way I can describe it. Not too glittery. She really doesn't even enjoy lipstick, so she's talking about maybe just going like the tinted lip route, which I didn't have, so she's gonna have to go get her own. So I just kind of guided her on like how to go about doing that. Speaking of which, I'm actually gonna go to the mall. I wanna go into Mac. I got my Mac Pro membership renewed, because I need to stock some stuff up in my kit, and the only way that I can do that affordably is if I have my Pro membership. While I'm on that side of town, there is a thrift store that has a lot of options. I'm thinking we're gonna try doing my bougie, my bougie dress this week again. I know I need to redeem myself. I still haven't accomplished that. I have some time tomorrow where I can sit and really play with makeup and make a fun look. And so I wanna do a full on Housewives reunion outfit look. We're still doing that. I'm still like just determined to find something that I'm going to have so much fun wearing. Oh my God, hot topic. Thanks. Well, it turns out that my card isn't ready yet. So I had to just get some stuff from Sephora. They have a more affordable brush cleaner. So the Sephora brush cleaner smells really good. It reminds me of Cinema Secrets almost a little bit. I really like the smell. It's got that kind of a little bit of a oily, um, hang on, <laughs> I'm not an influencer everybody, I'm not. And uh, I have just about this much left, so I just wanna get it back up. I thought it was on sale, but I don't know if it was. I thought it was supposed to be 30% off, the whole reason why I got it. Gwen Stefani's eyeliners, I really like them, and I have a purple one that I got in a Ipsy, and I fell in love with the liner, so I wanted to try it, because if it was 30% off, I'd be willing to buy it. So I got a black one, and this is gonna actually gonna go in my makeup kit, or the current one I'm using will go in my makeup kit. Whichever one glides better is gonna go in the kit, and then I'll take the one that doesn't, that takes more work. And then I got another spray hand sanitizer. I don't know how low mine was, but it was just at the checkout. I got my birthday gift. I, I forgot to pick it up and if they're nice, they'll let you have whatever's going on that month. And this is like a little Kosa's lip thing. I'll just throw that in my makeup kit. <laughs> Everything just goes in my kit. And then this I got for myself. This I've been wanting to try. It's the Merit um, Foundation. And I've seen so many people at this point using it that I'm like, okay, okay, I'll try it. Oh, and then I did get one more thing for myself. The best, hands down lip gloss it's by lawless again i got this in my ipsy and i fell in freaking love with it it was the best gloss i'd ever tried in my life 
and I got the exact same one that I already have. It is the glossiest gloss, but it looks like glass on your lips. And then I, I was trying to find lotion at Sephora. They don't really have a very good selection of just good old fashioned body lotion. A lot of Sol de, de Janeiro stuff, but I don't always want to smell like a tropical, hang on, sorry. I don't always want to smell like I'm going on vacation. I don't usually support Bath & Body Works because for a long time, I felt like what they were putting in their products wasn't good because it was giving me headaches. I've recently been using the Pumpkin Latte lotion and I loved it. And I was like, you know, I need a really good lotion that makes me feel very like floral sexy when I go to bed. I just want to feel like a queen when I go to bed. I'm so sorry I'm eating and talking. So I got dressed in white and I mainly got it because of the romantic florals and it smells so, so good. Peach Blossom Satin Wood Ivory Gardenia. This lotion smells so good. Ah, I'm gonna go thrifting now. show you what I got. And I'm also wearing gym clothes because I'm gonna head to Pilates. And so here's what I did get. I ended up going with the white dress. And the reason why is because I thought it would be more fun to upcycle something that is exciting and do a little like upcycling project to make the dress what I want it to be. This thing feels <laughs> amazing. It feels amazing. It's just got a really soft fabric. And then get out of here with these sleeves. Look at this. It looks like a jellyfish or something, doesn't it? It's very futuristic. It reminds me of something in the depths of the ocean. Like this right here looks like a fish. <laughs> so I went over to the jewelry section and look at these earrings. Are they not the most fabulous? I love those. I don't even know what the, they're really light. I don't even know what that would be considered made of, but I love big earrings. And then I got shoes. I want something practical that I would genuinely wear and I would genuinely wear these shoes. I thought they would look so cool with a pair of like really relaxed denim. They're so comfortable, oh my God. They're like foam. I just thought these were neat and I do love me a slip on mule style shoe. What is on my face? Did I not work in my powder? Guys, was I like that down upstairs the whole time? Because if so, I'm gonna have to reshoot the reel. It would look so cool with a black bra under it and like some cute black high-waisted shorts. And then this could be over top. In my opinion, this is too uh, matronly for a housewife dress and I wanna feel cute and sexy. All right, so here's what came for the rhinestoning. And I bought two packs. Oh my gosh, it came with glue to attach the rhinestones. La -ho. Shimmy shimmy. Where am I gonna go in this thing? Nowhere. All right, so I'm just gonna get ready for uh, Pilates, have my smoothie now, have plenty of time to digest, and then we'll get back and work on this. I'm actually gonna throw this in the wash too. The irony that I actually didn't want to go to class today. I woke up and I was just so groggy and I just wasn't feeling so good. And I'm like, I don't want to go to class today. I'm so tired. And that was my favorite class I've ever taken, ever. Oh my goodness. I am craving this. This is their beet juice from Gather. It's so good. And I haven't had this in forever. This is their Chipotle avocado toast. Yummy. Yeah. This is exactly what I was in the mood for. All right, I've changed into something a little more comfortable. One of my house dresses. So here's where I'm at with this. I took a break from the neckline just because I really wanted to see the dogs are wrestling. <laughs> they just had their dinner. 
and this is what they do. Uh, the glue actually seems to be getting this down onto the fabric really nicely. I'm surprised. I, Ma'am, I was not expecting that. It, it actually really sticks. So I'm gonna keep going that route and then I'll probably just secure the uh, beads on or the rhinestones on just with some sewing on a few spots throughout just to really make sure it stays if like something were to give. But I mean, yeah, look at that. The glue is definitely working. It's heavy duty and I have four of these. <laughs> they give you two per box. So there's plenty. All right, well, I went the glue route with this because hand sewing it with the way this fabric moves was a son of a bitch. But I think it will stay on really nicely. Now that I know how the glue works, it's really intense. So I think this is gonna stay pretty good. If not, I can go in and like sew it all together. I can see why people put applique, like, you know, netting down and then do a design on that and then attach that to the piece. I can totally understand now why that's done instead of things sewn directly into the fabric. So I learned something today. I definitely think too with this, like when I wash this now because of the details that I've added to it with the rhinestone and the pearls, I'm gonna have to hand wash this dress moving forward. Look at how much space I ran out. All right, just so I can see the vision. <laughs> This is the dress coming together. This is cute. I love it. I just pulled my hair up because I'm picturing having like a really cool updo of some sort. And then the big earrings and then the makeup really cool. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. It's so fun. morning <laughs> I knew that the first thing I wanted to do was wake up and start my makeup oh my god that's a song <laughs> I don't know I think it would look good with my hair up you know what I mean so I'm thinking I'm gonna go pull my hair up into some sort of updo all right I did a braid bun thing where I just braided it and kind of scooped it but I think it'll look really nice with the earrings and any other accessories, even though the dress is an accessory. <laughs> it's covered in jewels and rhinestones. you up a little higher. I've been in this corner taking video and tons of photos of the final look. I really actually like this odd shape on the shoulder. I just noticed it and I'm like, was that there the whole time? How it lines around. That's cool. It gives it a little bit of a very housewives very housewife. So I have some reference photos. I would say between Garcelle and Dorit and then sometimes Erica Jane, they have my typical, like if I were to pick an outfit out of all the outfits, 
they always seem to be wearing what I would wear. And I found a sparkly dress just like I was thinking originally and almost got. I mean, that was gonna be the dress. I thought the sparkle dress, I'm getting it, this is it, I found it. I'm just gonna like maybe adjust it a little bit. Because whenever I think of housewives, I just think of jewels and diamonds and rhinestones and over the top accessories and hair and makeup. Even though mine leans a little bit towards vintage, which also can lean a little bit towards granny. But that's okay because I don't mind looking like a granny, a classy granny from the 1960s or 50s. I can move on with my life. <laughs> it's been consuming my thrift hauls. That's gonna be it for today because I'm gonna start editing all of the smaller clips to put up reels and shorts. But uh, tomorrow we're going to the tattoo convention and I thought I would just show that to wrap up the weekend. <laughs> We are heading to Seattle to go to the tattoo convention and say hello to a bunch of people. Uh, my husband knows like everybody in Seattle. <laughs> I know like maybe three. So this is um, just fun to go walk around and say hey and kind of peep some artists in the area. Maybe some people who are in town that could slap a tattoo on my husband. Um, I'm not getting anything. Anyway, I am going to go put some shoes on consider if I'm gonna wear a hat with this, show you my outfit, and then we're gonna grab some smoothies and hit the road. Outfit, finally getting to wear it. A little Kate Spade off-white bag, crossbody for walking around, and don't know if I wanna wear a hat or not, but this is so cute. Space Needle. Oh my gosh, we're back. Um, dogs are super happy that we're back. Anyway, I'm gonna go through this really quick because the icon box came and this is the one that is with Chrissy Teigen and John Legend. It's so cute. Um, but I wanna do it quick because I wanna use these products and I'm ending this video right now. I ordered this for my makeup kit. This is just the Anastasia contour that I already use myself. I just bought this one to put in my kit because it was an add-on and it was really affordable. It's just a really good contour stick color. A lot of times I'll stock my kit from Ipsy because it um, is so cheap. And then I've got the Moon. This is an add-on too, I believe. It's the Teeth Whitening Pen by Kendall Jenner's brand. Look how pretty. Part of the Shih Tzu's in the back. But yeah, it's just a little pen that you can like put on your teeth at night to whiten your teeth. Lyle ended up getting a tattoo though. When I went for a walk to the Space Needle, he got like a little Kitsune Fox like head um, in a small spot on the back of his leg. Okay. A little add on. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> I didn't know you were up here. That looks cool. Yeah, I actually haven't even seen it. You want me to take a boat? <laughs> yeah. Then this is, I think this was an add-on. Jesus, this is really small. I didn't know I got such a small facial wash. So Superfood LMS wash. That'll be something I can throw in my travel kit. Brilliant cleansing gel. This is great because I actually, um, I'm in the market for a face wash. I just ran out of mine. So this was part of what I think you can choose in the actual Ipsy icon. Yay, new face wash for tonight. Um, this is something I got for myself or my makeup kit, I can't decide. Pr Continuous Prep Set Mist, supercharged with ceramides and antioxidants from Morphe. Mm, the Morphe setting sprays, I, I gotta say, smell pretty good. We have a Reversal Lift and Fill Form Control Marine Collagen Gel by Kat Berkey. I've never heard of this brand before, but that's cool. Look at that, that was a really nice package lift and fill form so you just like I really like the packaging though I feel like I have a lot of serums that I'm not using though Murad clarifying toner I feel like I've been using the same Clinique toner since I start out since I worked at Clinique it's the same bottle I just <laughs> you don't go through very much of it and it lasts a lifetime that does not have that 
great of a smell, but that's okay. Glowish by Huda Beauty. I have something else that's glowish by Huda Beauty. Ooh, a skin tint. Ooh. Oh, by the way, update. I really like the Merit stick. I love it. It's, I feel like my skin just looks like really natural. Like my glass is pinched. I think it's a really nice lightweight natural cream foundation. So if you're looking for something that's just like lightweight and doesn't feel heavy on your skin and look at that though. Holy crap. I was not expecting it to cover that much. Baso Balm Hydrating Lip Mask by JLo Beauty. I keep seeing JLo stuff in Ipsy. Ooh, that feels nice. I love keeping little things like this next to the bed. Regenerating Gel Mask by Grown Alchemist. I have become such a fan of this brand because of Ipsy. Their packaging's really nice. It smells really nice. It looks really cool. They do that toothpaste kind of bottle. I love so much. I just love this. Gel mask, eh? Yep, it's got the exact same smell. This smells like eucalyptus, like going into a lovely facial spa. And the final thing, I did that quick. Iconic London Multi-Use Cream Blush Bronze and Highlight Palette. I think it's nice and big. Light, medium, and deep bronze. This is the perfect makeup kit cream-based bronzers. I'm stoked on that. I really needed something like this for the old kit. That's the beauty of having yeah, Ipsy. Be Let's feed these doggies, feed these humans. <laughs> now I can take my skincare downstairs and go use it tonight. Yeah, yeah we have quite a bit. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today at the tattoo convention. We had a good time. I thought about the dogs the entire time. I just wanted <laughs> to be with them. <laughs> And everybody we ran into today were like, how are the Shih Tzus? Like, everybody knows that we love our dogs, which I think is just so funny because we talk about them all the time. Like, it's all we post is the dogs. <laughs> Anywho, -y. well, thanks for joining us and watching another video with me. I had fun this week. I don't even remember what we did. Make sure you're subscribed. It's always helpful and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the week. And I have no idea what I'm doing next week. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to style the Moo Moo. That Hawaiian Moo Moo that I made, I've never styled it. And I think I need to kind of do a last hoorah end of summer celebration. Like maybe do the Moo Moo and theme it to like a really fun Hawaiian. Ooh, you know what we can do? We can go get um, non-alcoholic tequila and I can make frozen margaritas. And then I'll wear my paradise tropical palm leaf Moo Moo two-piece outfit that I made and I'll style that and do really cool makeup with it. I'm done babbling. See you guys next week. Bye!